What up y'all, it's your boy Vic, here to talk about One Punch Man Season 2 Episode 3. Now, this episode was great. Episode 3 starts out with Bang beating the shit out of his student, and it's like, whoa, all the time your ass been in here, you ain't learned shit for the past 6 months, so you know, get your ass on, and basically kicks him out. And then Charonko somehow finds himself with the, uh, One Punch Man team, that's what I'm gonna call it. And so far, the animation is, it's great. It's good. It's not bad could definitely be worse. So basically, Janos explains to the orange hair dude, oh, your master kicked you out because he's trying to save you. He doesn't want one of his, you know, bastard disciples to kill you or, you know, definitely wreck you. And, yep, there we have him. Garo is someone who wants to be a monster. He's definitely human, at least from what I can tell. He's a very strong human. But while others are, you know, aspiring to be villains and heroes, Garo's like, man, fuck all that. I want to be a monster. And how do I work towards being a monster? I don't know, I guess I beat villains and beat heroes. Doesn't matter who. Everyone can equally get the chance to get their asses whooped. And we get to this scene where Garo confronts the Justice Rider. And I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, holy, holy, this is not fair. This man has no power whatsoever. He's about to get his ass destroyed. I'm thinking, shit, he might just get killed. But as the story goes on, Tank Top Master intervenes, and next thing you know, him and Garo are fighting. Whatever they did, they made you just see how much of a beast Tank Master was. His first punch has Garo flying feet away, bleeding from his nose. And what does Garo do? He's excited. This, this man is excited. He's about to fight him a class S. And he gets excited. Tank Top Master punches the ground. It's shattering everywhere. Rocks, pieces, the light. It's just incredible. This throws Gyro off balance. And then the way they animated Tank Top's Master Bull Rush, where he basically runs at Gyro like this at full speed, is just incredible. It was animated so well, fluid. If you look right here, you can just see fucking Gyro getting his ass spun away. It looked like it hurt. It looked like it hurt. And I, I thought Gyro was like. One Punch Man, to be honest. I thought he would be like the evil version of Saitama. Basically one shot in everyone, but no, that's not what he is. He actually gets hurt. Garo got his ass spun by that tackle. But it doesn't put him down. Not at all. And Tank Top Master is about to finish Garo, just hit him with, you know, his probably his final hit, put his all his power into one hit, and end the fight. And there goes this motherfucker, Justice Rider or Mewman, however the hell you say his name, interrupts, you know, I'm thinking, yo dude, why? It's his ass punch, literally took the hit for Garo. Bro, why are you doing this, bro? I, I, I'm Justice Rider, I like you, bro. I really do, but come on, bro. Garo's getting his ass whooped. He needs to get his ass whooped, bro. He is definitely a monster. It's just some people, you know, they gotta get it. And I think Garo's one of them. Or Garo. How the hell you say his name? And then he's talking about you you shouldn't fight you shouldn't fight humans. You should you don't fight humans. Humans are people. You're not monsters. I'm just sitting, I'm watching this like Jesus man. Come on man. My favorite hero is Superman. I'll you, you can see him right there. That's Superman. He's my favorite hero. And that's definitely something he would say. But you know, just sometimes I get mad at Superman. I'm like, motherfucker, that nigga needs to die. He needs to die. That's what I'm thinking right here, bro. And this man, Justice Rider, you are in the way. Let this man go. And Tom Class is like, I right, just go. Just go, Garo. He has a point. I'm not going to kill you because you're human. But go. Get your ass out of here. Garo starts walking away. He literally starts walking away. And I told you, I, I've never read the manga. I don't know what's going on, so I'm thinking, damn, bro, shit, live to fight another day. Damn, Garo, you are human as fuck. That is the most human thing to do. You know, you're getting your ass whooped sometimes. You got to know when, you know, retreat, you know, live to fight another day. And that's what Garo's doing. I'm like, whoa, this is awesome. Like, the writer, exactly, he knows what he's doing, bro. He knows exactly what he's doing. Garo's going to walk away, get stronger, and come back. And guess what this nigga does? Yeah, 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 yeah. You thought I was going to go home. You got your ass. Got your ass. Nope. Garo turns around and is like, as if. As soon as he says as if, Tank, Mo tank Top Monster is like, <laughs> I said Tank Top Monster. This, they're practically monsters at this point because humans are not like this. Tank Top Master is like throwing his fist right into the motherfucking camera. And Garo, I'm like, damn! Garo about to get his ass slept because the whole time the fight started, it looked like, you know, Tank Top Master had the, the upper hand. So Garo's definitely about to get his ass slept. Tank Top Master connects with a punch. Damn. That's a good night. Good night, Garo. Your ass going to sleep. Nope. Garo slaps his ass. This is a slap. 
If you think this is a punch, this is not a punch. This is a slap. Garrow slapped the shit out of this man. He got Garrow got hit. Don't get me wrong. He got his ass hit, but he's nigga slapped the shit out of Tank Top Master. I know that hurt. That hurt. Basically, he's using a move of his master Bang because Garrow used to be a student of Bang, so I guess he's sort of using that water technique thing. Tank Top Master is basically getting his ass whooped. Yep, getting his ass whooped. Can't use his body. Can't even move. And I'm thinking, Tank Top Master is basically getting his ass whooped at this point. Can't even move. And I'm thinking, it's game over. This man about to get killed. We'll see. And then this nigga, Justice Rider, Muman, however the hell you say his name, just basically tries to slam Garrow with his bike. And knowing his record and how he's written these stories, I'm like, yeah, that's not a good idea. Nope, not a good idea at all. At this point, I'm thinking, that should kill him. That should really kill him. This man should be dead. He literally smashes his head multiple times into the ground. This man should be dead. I don't care what you tell me. He should be dead. Garrow beats the shit out of everybody, and this orange haired motherfucker that I talked about at the start just unfortunately happened to be in the vicinity when this happened. So he got his ass whooped too. This scene was pretty funny, you know, with the banana. It just shows how casual Saitama is and how, you know, he's down to earth, treats everyone equally. He's a great character. Meanwhile, Garrow's interacting with this kid here, trying to get information on heroes and villains and it shows this human nature of Garo. Garo, Garo, he's just this cool guy. He doesn't even try to hurt the kid but he's supposed to be a monster and it's really interesting. Garo is kind of cool. I, I like to keep reading the story and just watching the story and see how his character progresses. Garo has a fight with a hero he confronts and basically beats the shit out of this dude. While he's fighting the dude, this dude with the sword tries to attack him. Basically Garo takes damage by piercing himself with the sword and knocking his ass out. Now, watching this, Garo is constantly getting injured. It's just, I didn't think the story would go like this. I thought it would be like the anti Saitama, you know, just the strong Saitama who's evil. But nah, he's, he's strong as shit though. He's probably stronger than most of these S-Class heroes, but he's taking damage and potentially any of them, if they play their cards right or he could meet someone stronger, you know, could end him. Now, this scene is amazing. Let me explain this scene to you. So, Garo is walking. Remember, Saitama is going to enter the tournament. This Saitama goes to buy a wig. And uh, I guess his fate brings Garo and Saitama together in the streets. It's not planned. As you can see here, that's a wig Saitama wants to buy for himself so he can replace the orange haired dude in the tournament. Saitama basically says, Oh, hey, I finally found you. But he isn't talking. He isn't talking to Ga uh, Garo. He's talking to the seller. We don't see him here, but he's talking to uh, the seller. He could be talking about the wig. You know, Saitama is an interesting individual. But Garo, or Garo, how the fuck you say his name, thinks Saitama is talking to him. And Garo's like, hmm, who the fuck is this? Another hero? Yeah, you getting your ass wrecked. And what does Garo do? Garo raises his arm up at such great speeds, and he is about to strike. Karate chop the shit out of Saitama. Look at this shit. It looks like it's gonna hurt. It looks like it's gonna hurt the shit out of Saitama. But we all know how this goes. Hits him and I'm like, holy shit. Saitama doesn't eat. Like, look at him. He's not phased. You can see the red eyes, the contrast. Saitama could give two fucks what the fuck Garo's trying to do. Garo's definitely trying to, at least close to his hardest, you know, basically inc incapacitate Saitama. This was amazing. The impact from the hit transfers all the kinetic energy all the way down Saitama's body into the ground. Amazing. Garo's hand is smoking, but Saitama is unfazed. He doesn't even feel it. It's like, what's the big deal? If I was Garo at this point, I would be panicking. I would be scared shitless. Like, oh my god, this I just karate chopped the shit out of this dude and he did not even flinch. I'll be scared. That's just me personally. And you want to know what's awesome? Garo feels the same way too. This nigga is literally sweating upwards his like his sweat basically defied gravity and it started going up it doesn't make sense but it's amazing this this is fear if, if fear had a picture in the dictionary it would be this right here 
amazing. And what did Saitama do? Karate chopped his ass, gave him back that favor. Here you go. You that karate chop you try to hit me with? Here you go. Don't interrupt with my shopping. And I'm telling you, Garo felt that. He felt that motherfucker. Look at this. Look at the pain on his face, bro. This man was knocked out. KO. TKO. Not technical. Total knockout. Sleep, nigga. Sleep. Slept his ass. So yeah, this this episode was great. I can't wait to see the next episode. Thank you for watching. And uh, have a wonderful day. And peace.